In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Object Animator from Cineflare. Object Animator is a powerful tool that allows you to quickly add animations to any element on your timeline with an almost unlimited amount of animation combinations and customization options. Object Animator was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the Effects Browser under Cineflare Object Animator, as well as Individual Animations in the Titles Browser. Let's quickly look at those first. When using the titles, note that you can change the duration of the animation by simply stretching out the layer shorter or longer. In the parameters, you can change the direction of the animation from the drop-down menu. You have control over the amount of effect using the spread slider. You may adjust the amount of motion blur, change the duration of the fade in or out, and modify the axis settings easily to suit your needs. Before adding more objects and animations to a sequence, you'll first need to select both the element and the object animator layer to create a new compound clip before proceeding. There are two sets of effects. The Animations Clean and Animations Motion Blur tools require at least 30 frames to complete both the incoming and outgoing animations once you apply them to an element on the timeline. The Quick Animations Clean and Motion Blur effects only require at least 15 frames. For our example, I'll drag Animations Motion Blur to the image on my timeline. Right away, you'll notice the on-screen controls that allow you to scale, rotate, and position the element easily. First, in the parameters, using the drop-down menus, you can choose from over 80 variations of the animations available. Under Axis Controls, selecting the checkboxes will enable axis guides so that you can see the exact axis point of the animation. You can then reposition the axis exactly where you want and it comes in handy when you want to reset the axis points of an animation, like Flip. Add a fade in or out to your animations by clicking the checkboxes. The X, Y, and Z drift controls allow you to include a constant zoom or drift that makes the image move slightly across the duration of the clip. You can also choose random drift, which will automatically generate movement for you. And lastly, you have the option to easily add a reflection effect that can be further modified with the sliders. Additionally, a very useful and easy to use extra bonus with Object Animator is the logo solid effect. Simply drop it on any logo file and choose a solid color and opacity that suits your needs for a quick and easy adjustment. Object Animator from Cineflare is a great set of tools that save time, are easy to use, and will help take your projects to the next level. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.